Will Richmond, editor and publisher of Video News, and I'm here with Karen Murphy from Clipped. Hi, Karen. Hi. Hi. Uh, let's get started talking a little about how Clipped is working with various TV networks and providers on open versus private marketplaces and how they're gravitating to the latter and why. Sure, great. Thanks for having me here today. Um, yeah, we're doing something very interesting at Clipped, and it's also extremely interesting to see the uh, reaction from the media owner partner side. Um, as the director of business development at Clipped, my role is to actually work with the DSPs and get them excited about this inventory. Um, so we currently operate under two different business models. One is that open marketplace where we see companies like Cox Media Network and Suddenlink and Pop TV and GSN come into an open marketplace where they feel comfortable commingling their inventory. And through that open marketplace, a buyer is actually able to come in and define an audience. So we can guarantee on age and gender, and then also help a buyer find audiences based on things like household income, presence of children in the home, do they own or rent, et cetera. So that's very exciting. Obviously, we need um, a lot of uh, media owner companies to be involved in that open marketplace for it to be very interesting for the buy side. And then what we're seeing from the media owner side, from companies like an ESPN, um, we run a private marketplace today for ESPN. Uh, we're in the process of incorporating Discovery, and Viacom is also a new uh, addition to Clipped, is really seeing how these media owners are deciding to approach programmatic um, and how they are protecting their inventory, so to speak, by entering in a, in a private marketplace agreement and really bringing in their own demand. So it's a closed walled garden and they're really in charge of the inventory that's up there, the pricing, um, protecting it, and then really making sure that they're inviting um, the appropriate uh, agencies to actually bid on that. And so ESPN does something a little bit different. They do an auction model, which has a buy it now availability. And so if a buyer were to bid on something and they were outbid, they would receive a notification about that. And uh, really just what Clipped is trying to do is provide the software to allow these media owners to feel comfortable with that programmatic. What, what are the media owners' motivation for getting involved with private marketplace, like you described, ESPN? What, what's driving them to want to move into this area? Yeah, I think ESPN is a great partner in the sense that they're really always thinking five steps ahead, right? So they, they, they know a lot about programmatic. They've seen what programmatic has done probably for them on the digital space, and they're thinking, I want to be a leader in the space. And so they have found a way to um, test the water, so to speak, and really try to work out um, different strategies that, that work best for them. And I think when a company like ESPN steps ahead and says, we're interested in this and we're going to actively try to figure out what's working for us, other companies uh, start to take note and say, maybe this is something we should start to think about. Um, and we certainly don't want it to be seen as a race to the bottom. And you know, we don't want the, these you know, CPMs or these spots, depending on how the media owners decide to sell, to be um, losing value, we want to put protections in place and then add some data to it and help the media owners with their yield optimization and to really better understand that inventory so they can sell it better to buyers who are interested in it. Great, well said. And the buyers, of course, are interested in the audience-based buying approach. And maybe you could talk a little about what's motivating them to want to pursue that model. Sure. I think. Uh, from the buy side, I see you know a lot of. Um, it's very easy for someone that buys video today. You know, if you're buying display, you're buying video on display. It's it's a very easy jump for those buyers to say, oh, I'd love to add TV to the mix. I understand how to buy on a CPM basis. I I feel very comfortable with audience-based buying. By the way, I don't have to worry about who's on the other side of the screen because I'm delivering to a TV in someone's living room. So a lot of the fraudulent behavior. Um, they're less worried about. There's l they don't have to justify that. And I think the idea that they can now buy with that guarantee of age and gender is very exciting. You know, I mean, television has always been sold on age and gender. We have that now available through the platform, along with seven other attributes. So if you can now get closer to that advanced target, so your primary target is guaranteed, and then maybe your advanced target is now, you know, college educated household income over 150,000 with children, that's amazing that you can hone in uh, at that level of detail on TV. Mm -hmm. right? Well, congrats on all your progress. Thank you. Thank you very much.